Still with us is Mitch Album, best-selling author of the book Tuesdays with Maury and a new book, Stranger in the Lifeboat. And he's also host of Stage 29's podcast, Tuesday People. So, Mitch, in Tuesday People, you discuss life lessons which you learned through your visits with your dying professor, Maury. And one thing you say is he taught you was that living is giving. So can you explain that a little bit more, Mitch? Yeah, it was a fascinating uh, little exercise. You know, I went every Tuesday to sit with Maury. He was dying from Lou Gehrig's disease. And he taught me sort of this last class in what matters in life when you really know you're going to die. And he was able to say, this matters, this doesn't matter. You think this matters, but when you get to where I am, it's not going to matter. And I noticed that other people came to visit him on some of these Tuesdays as well. And many of them were uncomfortable talking to a dying man. So they would prepare like photos and funny stories. And they would go and try to cheer him up. The door would close. They'd come out an hour later in tears. But they would be crying about their love life, their divorce, their work. And, and they'd say, I don't know what happened. I went in to try to cheer him up. But after a few minutes, he started asking me questions. And I started talking to him. And he started really asking me questions. I started talking to me. I went in to try to comfort him but he ended up comforting me. So finally I went into more, I said, I don't get it. You're the one who's dying. You're the one with this terrible disease. You need me to you know, carry you from place to place, turn your head so you can look at me. You've hit the mother load of sympathy. Why don't you take advantage? And he said, Mitch, why would I ever take from people like that? Taking just makes me feel more like I'm dying. Giving makes me feel like I'm living. And I never forgot that because I thought, wow, if at this moment, when his days are numbered, what makes him feel alive isn't anything that he owns, anything that he accumulated. It's what he can do for other people. Then that has to work for us when we're on our, our healthy years. And I've tried to apply that ever since. So Mitch, you, these great uh, sessions that you had with uh, Professor Maury and the lessons that he quote unquote gave you the giving aspect. How have you implemented this advice in your own life? Well, one way is 12 years ago, uh, after the earthquake in Haiti, I went down to visit an orphanage there that had supposedly been destroyed. It hadn't been destroyed, thank God, but it had been overrun. And I was so taken with what I saw that I began to get involved with it more and more. I brought people down from Detroit to help rebuild it. We built the first toilets and showers and kitchen and school. And then eventually, uh, the person who had been running it was in his 80s, and he said, you know, I don't have any money to run this. And I said, well, I could probably do this. How hard could it be? And he basically said, thank you, Lord, here it is. And I've been running it ever since. I go every month without fail for 12 years, and I have to say that I am the most alive when I am there with the 53 children that we raise. I sleep better there, even though I sleep on a four inch mattress and it's hot as you know what, and, and, and it's uncomfortable in every way. And yet you have a, a sense of doing something important. And it is absolutely true that when you give, you feel most alive. And I feel most alive with those kids there. Well, God bless Mitch. And I, I've traveled to Haiti a couple times, first time after the uh, big earthquake. We went as a group with the doctors. I subsequently went back with my foundation, Surgical Friends Foundation, and I, I couldn't agree with you more. The satisfaction of, of uh, going there and then leaving and feeling like you, you gave something back to those people. And I have, like yourself, I have a personal place for the people of Haiti. And I'm, I'm just saying it right now, to you, if, if there's anything I can do with your orphanage medically, I'm there. Uh, just ask Mitch, okay? Oh, I'll be asking. Don't worry about that. Well, you we know, need help. Whatever, even if it's just uh, well wellness exams, whatever. I it's uh, I would be glad to go back and help the people of of Haiti.